The greatest example of that I saw and witnessed it firsthand on television was during 9-11. People running away from those burning buildings, running away in horror. We saw policemen and firemen running to those buildings, basically running to their deaths to go help others because they saw trouble and they knew that they were needed. That's got to be us in this day right here. We've got to run to the trouble, folks. And what is the trouble? The trouble is the Biden administration that is seeking to turn this country into a socialist hellhole. The trouble is Antifa that wants to roam the streets and beat you into submission. The trouble is Black Lives Matter. It claims to care about the lives of black people, but it's turned a blind eye while violence in black communities are taking lives at a genocidal rate. They've turned a blind eye. That's where the trouble is, and that's what we've got to run to. And we've got all the right in the world on our side. And there ain't no reason to be afraid. And there ain't no reason to not take the challenge dead on. Because I'm going to tell you who we come from, folks. We don't come from some weak, jellyback, spineless people. That's not who we come from. None of us. And it doesn't matter what color you are, what nation your folks hail from, how much money you got. We all share the same name. We are Americans. And at Bunker Hill, there was Americans. And at Fredericksburg and Gettysburg, there was Americans. And at Iwo Jima, raising that flag on Sarabachi, it was Americans. And at Porkchop Hill, there was Americans. At Quezon, there was Americans. And on 9-11, there was Americans who ran towards those burning buildings. That is who you share your heritage with. You do not share your heritage with a weak and ineffective people who cower at the side of trouble. You share your heritage with a strong and brave people who are determined to hold on to their freedom and for the freedom of future generations. Guys, it's time for us to stand up and be that generation. It's time for us to stand strong and proud and remember who we are, that we are Christians, that we are Americans, that we are Republicans, and that we are conservatives. And as long as we stand as the vanguard of freedom in this nation, freedom will survive here. And not only survive, it will thrive. So guys, it's time to put on our packs. It's time to fix those bayonets. It's time to get ready, because we got a fight on our hand. And our fight is not for us. It's for all those generations that's going to come behind us. Let's save America, folks, because if there is to be freedom in this nation in the future, it is only going to become at the behest of the Republican Party, the grand old party, the party of freedom and equality, the one that always has been and the one that always will be. God bless you all. Thank you very much. God bless the great state of North Carolina and God bless the United States of America. Thank you.